Hey, what's good, you guys? It's your boy, SSJ KDOT. The first Black Super Saiyan to ever arrive on this planet. I'm back here with another video for you guys. I'm back here for a Black Lightning Season 2 review. This is going to be a very mean review. This is going to be a review where I'm not pulling any punches in this review. This is going to be a very mean, probably very rude review. Just know. Because... CW TV shows, superhero shows, I'm done with you. Marvel Netflix TV shows and even Agents of Shield, I'm done with you. The quality of these TV shows is 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 whack for what superheroes deserve. Let me show you something for example from the show that I seen that I wish I didn't see. This is the wackest thing I have seen in a superhero TV show ever and the most cliché thing I ever seen in my life. This is Black Lightning Shoe from this TV show, Black Lightning Season 2. I screenshot this. I was watching this on Netflix, right? And I saw this shoe. And I was like, what the freak? Are these some Jordans? These looks like some shoes I can buy at Champs for $140. And I was like, huh? And then you have the character Gamby, who made this tight-looking tech for Black Lightning. And this dude's running around with some sneakers. These are the shoes right here. These are the shoes right here. Do I need to blow this up? These are the shoes he was wearing. What are, what, what are these? These are some basketball shoes, bruh. You gotta be joking. You gotta be joking with me. Those don't even look right with the other part of the material. <sighs> Black Lightning Season 2 is a whack season. It didn't give me superhero. It gave me pro-black propaganda 24-7 every single episode. This show, I love my black people. But this stuff gets annoying. When you got to keep repeating to me every episode, hey, remember, we still pro-black. Huh, Freeland for the free people. Huh, hurrah. I'm like, I get it. The fact that the show has to keep reminding you every episode, we are black. We are black. A black man in Freeland. A black man this. A black man that. I get it. This show is annoying. This show gets on my nerves. This show is does the same stuff that stuff in the MCU is doing, especially in Captain Marvel. This show is just as guilty as what stuff happened in Captain Marvel. Propaganda garbage, propaganda garbage, propaganda, propaganda. There's no issue with you having pro-black propaganda, but the issue is how much you're going to keep on pushing that. Because for, for the first and foremost, this is a, supposed to be Black Lightning, a superhero, right? Right? I want to see Black Lightning saving people. I want to see Black Lightning, oh, stopping this car from falling on this lady and hitting her. I want to see Black Lightning fighting metahumans that are on his level with some better choreography. But the choreography in the CW, Netflix, and these, these TV shows are whack. The choreography is so, ugh. The cinematography, the white shots and stuff, they look so ugly. And the fact that these superheroes... Their suits, look, I'm going to tell you guys this much. The, the 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 daughters, they look sexy. I ain't finna lie. The daughters look sexy up in them suits. Thunder, in my opinion, I like the way they handle Thunder's uh, lesbian relationship. I have no issue with it because for first and foremost, this is a show pr primarily for teens. Teens and adults. So, this is part of real life stuff. You're going to have people that are going to be lesbian or gay. So, you might as well show it. And just show me what's up. But that ain't the gist of his character. Because Thunder's character, she, she is lesbian. But that ain't the whole of her character. It's not like they're feeding it in down her tube. Because when, when she's in her regular life, she's going to run into her girlfriend. She's going to have moments with her girlfriends. People like to hide that stuff. They're like, hmm. I don't want to see no gay stuff going on at all. But, like, you can't hide that. That's part of the character. And that's their lifestyle. 
when you see the character in her past life, you're gonna see it in, in her in her in her little short time while she's out of her work clothes or super clothes. She's gonna be doing that, so you're gonna show it, and I'm fine with seeing it. I'm fine with seeing it. It is it's part of life. So, um, as far as that goes, I think it was cool. I think it was okay. It wasn't the staple of her character. Because, you know, from what I see, she was like, she can be a straight girl. And I would have still vibe with her. I still vibe with her. I think Thunder's tight. I think Thunder's cool. Uh, the young daughter. I ain't really... Uh, she's iffy. She got that little sassy, little attitude. The little sassy black girl attitude going on. I'm like, oh, I'm good, bruh. Get up out of here. You got a little sassy, little snarky, bite back black girl attitude. I'm like, I'm good, bruh. These look like the most cliche pro-black people I've ever seen a day in my life. Some of these people represent. Some of these people represent some real pro-black pro people. I'm like, ugh. Black Panther didn't even have this much pro-black stuff in it. It gave you just enough. And it said, let's move. We moving on. Black Panther was a political film. It was a super old film, but it was a, it had politics in it. But it wasn't like this. But, it, but this is what's, what makes it worse. This is a whole season dedicated to this. How many episodes does season two have? Let's see how many episodes that season two has, bruh. Season two of Black Lightning has more than 10 episodes of pro-black propaganda going on. And you know what? This is my other problem with these shows. Oh my goodness. Show me some superheroes in their suits. Black Lightning, yes, when they show me in his suit, they don't give me enough. Can you give me a more of a full-length episode of him in his suit, running around doing stuff like saving people? Because this show, this show flip-flops plots so much in this show. This show, this show goes from, from, the, from the green light epidemic to freaking Anissa. What's the... Anissa? Thun, thunder. They go to Thunder's part of Thunder trying to go around and steal money from criminals, which I have no issue with because she's giving, she's putting the money towards a good cause. Technically, it's not stealing because she's retrieving dirty money from evil people and she's pushing it towards a better cause, which is for a clinic. The only issue was that her stealing that much money and that money going to some random place such as the clinic and the cl clinic out of nowhere getting this huge donation of money gangs are going to assume our money's going there so that's the only thing that's the only threat anissa brought to the clinic and then her dad got on her talking about oh anissa you shouldn't have done that you, you we we have a code to live by and he tried to justify to her you shouldn't have stole that money in the first place even if it was dirty money and they had it out for me i was like what the freak your daughter just took that money that bad guys was using. She didn't keep none of it. She was using that money for, she was giving that money to the clinic. Yes, what she did, because everything that, everything, there's a cause and effect, and there's consequences. But at the end of the day, she took the money from the bad guys and put it towards a good cause, giving it to a clinic to better their finances, help out the people that are sick, people that need help, and she's further helping them. Because you don't got to go into every situation as a superhero using your fist. So, yeah, yeah, your fist isn't always the issue. Because sometimes heroes can help financially. Sometimes heroes can heroes can be heroes by talking to people. He, heroes come in different forms. It's not just you go in there, beat up some thugs, and that fixes everything. Just because you beat up this thug, this clinic right here still need money to eat. So, Anissa, yes. She was helping, and she was helping at the same time. Because her helping brought about some evil stuff. And yes, that's where the story comes in. The more plot comes in. Bad guys come in. You got the little back and forth between the good and evil. That's where it comes in. Now, it's cool, but I was like, mm. Because they flipped to another plot, and then they got, the, got, they got the green light kids in the pods. And then they got Jen and her boyfriend... And I'm like, well, this is a soap opera of superheroes, which I don't care about. I don't read comics and think of them as soap operas because they're, they're not. I shouldn't be thinking of 
Young and the Restless and General Hospital when I'm looking at a superhero film, a superhero show. I think of General Hospital and Young and the Restless when I watch CW, Marvel, Netflix, TV shows. They seem like soap operas, general soap operas, not what the, what the freak. This is Black Lightning, General Hospital. This is the same thing that happens when I watch The Flash. People, their freaking girlfriend and boyfriend relationships and stuff, they straight, they focus on this stuff so much. Like, they'll give you a Flash episode, and the episode can be majority about Flash and Iris and their relationship, and you give you give me less of Flash in the costume, and him doing using his powers, and doing stuff. Cause this, by benefit of them being able to do that, it's a TV show, and this is why I'm finished with these superhero TV shows. When you give me stuff like this, superheroes deserve better quality. Superheroes deserve better budgets. This is why I bring up this thing. CW and Marvel Netflix, y'all need to pull. Y'all need to pull all these shows. Because Disney Plus, bro, when Disney Plus comes and they have those funds, we may see some real superhero shows in dope quality. We may get that We may get that feel of we got dope superhero effects and costumes for a TV show, and we also can get story that, that, that makes up for it. And you're going to get a bunch of superhero. But this stuff on CW, bro, CW, this is what you need to do. You need to pull these shows, and you need to work on one show at a time. They have Legends of Tomorrow out. They got Supergirl out. They got Flash out. They got Arrow. Well, Arrow is about to end, but they got all these shows out. And they even got the DC streaming service out. They got the Titan show, that trash show, with some trash effects. Then that weak-looking Starfire. They got all these shows out with these whack budgets. Just saying, oh, we got some leftover from Flash. Here, take this. We got some leftover here. Take ooh, this. Superhero shows need better budgets. They need better budgets for the quality that is needed. Cause you, if you give me these whack, this whack stuff with these superhero with these superhero shows, this ain't gonna look right. This ain't gonna be right. This isn't gonna feel right. You got to give me good quality suits, good quality and effects. Yes, the Flash's effects are bearable, but they still whack. King Shark still looks ugly. He he, he looks unnatural. And then when you see Barry go into CGI mode on the Flash TV show, TV show, it's all CGI. You couldn't even tell me that the transition from live action to CGI in the Flash TV show is done well. It isn't done well. The transition looks so whack. It does. Because you go from completely live action to full on CGI and it shows. It shows. You can't tell me that the CGI transition even, even looks well. It doesn't. It looks like you hop from live action to PS3 gra to PS2 graphics, and you say, "Here you go." No, PS2 cinematic cutscene graphics. That's what it is. That's what it is. And I don't like that. The Super Bowl TV shows. I'm done with these. This may. I'm not going to be consistently watching these anymore because when you give me stuff like this in a superhero TV shows, a superhero TV show, oh, and don't get me started on the leather CW and the leather Marvel Netflix TV shows. This is why I'm done with shows like Daredevil, that whack show. You guys, when I watched Daredevil season three, I, I, I had to stop watching it. I watched a full season of this man walking around in the suit he had in his first season with that whack shirt he wraps around his head. He's not even wearing a suit. Bullseye has his suit. And I'm over here like this. I'm watching the final season of Daredevil. And this man is wearing his suit. The final moment he takes out Kingpin, he's not even wearing his suit. He's he's wearing another suit. He's not he's he's wearing a suit he started with. He back to the basics. I'm done with these shows. I watched Punisher season two. And every time I see, I see Punisher in action, he's not even wearing the vest or the trench coat. It's only a few times in the Punisher season two which you see him wearing the, the, the vest and the trench coat. In the final episode of Punisher season two, I watched, the, I watched Punisher season two the full season. You don't even see him in the trench coat. 
at the final shot of the last season of the, the final episode of Punisher season two, you see him in the vest with the skull on it and the trench coat, and then the show ends. Only one time in season two do you see that, and this is my reason why these whack superhero, these whack superhero budgets, the way they do costume design, the way they the way they show you a superhero. But your superhero isn't even in his iconic suit. Doing what they gotta do. Pop, pop, pop. And I'm like, what the frick are you doing? I'm done with this stuff, man. Black Lightning, the CW stuff, they put in too much politics into their superheroes, bro. This stuff seems more politics than superheroes. And you guys, I have no issue with how they handle Thunder's uh, lesbian relationship. I actually liked it. I thought it was done okay. Because you gotta show the stuff. You gotta show yourself. You you can't tell me your character's lesbian and you showing these other characters such as um, Black Lightning making out with his wife, and just just because the girl's lesbian, you're not even show her to be in a relationship with her girl. I mean, it's part of the world. People have been homosexual for freaking centuries, ancient times, bro. This ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new. It's part of life. You might as well show it. it. May not be the natural way of life, but it's part of life. You might as well show it. Especially if it's a teen. A teens going into adulthood TV show. Might as well show it. You don't need to make that the center, but show it. And be done with it, then move on to the superhero part of the show, which should be the majority. And you don't get that. The only good parts of this show that I really like is just seeing Black Lightning in the fight and anything that has to do with Black Lightning in the suit and her powers in that. The only thing I care about in this show is the green light. The green light, and that's it. The green light in the metahuman. And at that, you got some whack looking metahumans with some whack choreography because these TV shows have some whack choreography going on. I'm done with this, bro. I'm, I'm sticking to movies strictly because you're only going to get your good quality with movies. And sometimes these movies will half ass it. Sometimes these movies will, but you're only going to get your good quality with the movies. So it's best to just stick with the movies and animated shows. These live action TV shows, in my opinion, you need to scrap these because then you get shows like these. You get shows like this that people will accept and take. And we know for sure these ain't these ain't the characters. And people just and people just accept it and act like this is all we can get. When this is not the case of what we can get, we can get better than this. We can get better than this. A black starfire, are we serious? A beast boy who's not even green consistently? Miss me with that. You wanna know what their excuse was? Oh, Beast Boy is going to be green fully the second season. Beast Boy only turns into a tiger for the first season. Like I said, Beast Boy was only going to turn into one animal. And was I right? Yes, I was. Starfire. She's not even orange. It's a it's a, it's a black chick walking around. You want to know what Anna Diop said to herself in the mirror? This is what Anna Diop said. <laughs> Anna Diop, the girl who plays Starfire, she exactly did this. She looked in the mirror and did this. I'm Starfire. And she's black. She, she looked at her skin. I'm Starfire. She exactly did that. You want to know what I say to that? Bruh, miss me with this. You're not fooling me. These shows... These superhero shows need to be taken off air and you need to do one show at a time. And when your budgets get better over time and you can better associate for consistent, good animation, effects, and suits, then it's fine. But these effects are whack. They need they, they need to stop because you're giving me stuff like this in a Black Lightning TV series. Are you serious? Are you serious? I, I never noticed this was this man's shoes. These are his shoes? Some shoes I can buy at Champs? Sports? For $140 probably? In San Francisco? Bruh. Bruh. I'm done with this show. I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad Tobias is in this show. Because every time something pro-black comes up in the show, I get irritated by it. And Tobias is there to alleviate it. Thank you, Tobias. Because even Tobias gets annoyed by it. Th thank you. Tobias, the character, the, the albino dude, gets annoyed by the freaking pro-black propaganda that's up in here. That's consistently up in here. 
I get it, you guys. You're pro-black. But at the end of the day, you're doing too much of it. Just like have if this if this show had feminist propaganda and it was showing up every single there was an episode in this show where a black woman took Anissa to a hair salon talking about oh bl black women this is where black black women used to be able to go to hair salons because this was a community where black women could be proud they could be proud of their black hair but now black women come here to try and look like somebody else. What the freak is this? I don't care about no black women here. The freak out of here. This is a superhero show. I'm done, bro. This this stuff is whack. Superhero, these superhero shows deserve better. From the Marvel Netflix. Yes, Netflix are cool, but they wasn't doing it. Marvel Netflix, bro, even Iron Fist season two, this man barely wore his suit in that season. He didn't even wear a suit at all. He had no suit. Luke Cage. This dude was wearing different hoodies and stuff. And he was like, what the freak? Luke Cage walks around in a yellow shirt. Got that mm -mm, the fist. Blue jeans. And if we want to go OG, he had the little thing around his head. But he doesn't wear that no more. But come on now. Luke Cage isn't even wearing the, the consistent clothing. Don't get me started on Jessica Jones. Don't get me started on her. She don't even got no suit. So freak her. Please don't get me started on Daredevil. That weak Daredevil season three, where I don't see a superhero wearing his suit in action. I'm done. I'm done. I came to watch a superhero show, not soap opera, drama. The drama takes up more of the show than the superhero does. I'm done, bro. This this is ugh. Black Lightning season two. You take an L. You take a fat L. When I want to see a superhero, you pollute this stuff with <laughs> we black. We black. Black pal. It's the same thing with Luke Cage. <laughs> black pal. <laughs> I get it. You're black. You're pro-black. I get it. I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. We done with these shows. You guys have a very good day. Let's do that. Peace, love, and positivity. Let's take a skip out on these shows. Super O TV shows deserve better. Take these shows off the air. And don't do them at all. Because if you can't give me a good... If you can't give me amazing quality... Especially for a TV show. We're in the year 2000. TV effects need to take a step up. They need to hurry up and take a step up. We're in the year 2000, bro. Come on now. We got virtual reality in the works. And we're already doing some way good at virtual reality. And we still got these weak effects on TV, man. Come on. Step it up. Step it up. Real talk. Real talk. Step it up. We're in the year 2000. It's no excuse now. We're moving forward with technology. We should be doing better, not going back. Come on, you guys. I'm going to end this video. There's boy K dot, and I'm speaking from the I'm speaking from the eyes of a consumer, and what the idea of a consumer. I'm a consumer, and I'm reviewing this from a consumer standpoint of what I want to see, and I like comics too. And I'm re reviewing it from the standpoint of what I want to see from a comics. I don't read Black Lightning for no pro black stuff. I read Black Lightning because he got superpowers and he looks tight. I just want to see superhero. Period. That's it. I'm going to build there's your boy Kidot, the first black super saiyan to work by this planet. Go through that peace, love, positivity, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs. You guys, please don't do drugs. Go through that peace, love, and positivity. Deuces.